Ah, uh, we're not quite there yet. Once I get this one right here, I've got something quite special planned. Anyway, hello and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. I have had a big brain moment. Like, really big brain moment. So, as you guys know from last episode, I've put in the floor here, and I was planning on putting my huge item sorter in here and having this as my main room. But then, what happens to the enormous rooms, which are far more interesting in shape, in the actual mansion? Well, this is where the big brain moment came in. I think what we do is we have lots of different farms up here, and then we actually have this looking like more like a factory on the inside and they all funnel all the items they flow in straight into the giant item sorter so whenever I'm here I have like a control panel in the middle and then from there I can decide what goes on what turns off you know for lag reasons and then this doesn't get wasted at all I know I was planning on having a few mob farms in here anyway but I'm thinking this becomes the mega factory industrial mansion style. But before we actually start making any kind of machine or farm, we've got to finally, finally get this thing made. Now there's a hole right there and it's really hard to see. And one of my favorite things to do at the moment is to try and fly in. It's so difficult to see it. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe some of you don't really know what an item sorter is, but it's basically the redstone answer to this mess here. I put the item in and it just filters into the correct chest and then you end up with something that looks a bit like that, where it's all item sorted for you. Now for, for that you need a lot of chests, which explains this giant system of trees, but more importantly you need a lot of iron. Now last episode I did tell you that I left my camera account over here in Mumbo's industrial area. Now hopefully he's not here. Yeah, he's not here, but I did do Mumbo an enormous favor. I left my camera account here for literally two days, as long as I possibly could to generate iron. And then I crafted it all up for him. Look at all this. This is all for Mumbo, obviously because it's his machine, but I took a small amount for my own endeavors. And I was thinking I could use a little room here just to, just so I can, uh, I can entertain myself. So I wonder if Mumbo will notice if we claim one of these real quick. It's a pretty simple change. We take the eyes and we put them up this way. And then of course, add the hair in. There we go. It's it's pretty much in the same style as all of these iron golem heads or villager heads. I'm not sure what they are, but look, <laughs> I wonder how long it will be before he actually notices the giant green head that has snuck into the walls of his industrial area. To be fair, if unless you were looking, you probably wouldn't notice. So I'm thinking I make just a, a little room in here, maybe actually inside inside this head. Just so I can uh, I can store my stuff in here if I need to. There we go. This will do for now. It's just a nice little storage room that I can I can <laughs> come to if I need to, and just uh, block it off whenever I'm not using it. I bet Mumbo will go the entire season without seeing this. Anyway, so we've got our iron. We have got our chests, or you know most of the wood for the chests, and now I believe we can start making this thing. I do have to think slightly about how I'm going to design this. So obviously it's usually a big square because that's how, you know, Minecraft works. A circle won't really work in this case, but I do want like a control panel area. So this is the center as I've marked out and I need like a clear space like this, either as a corridor to a place at the back or it, the control panel can be actually just there, but I want this space because it, it, it's a, uh, I need that gap between all of the chests. So I'm gonna get my redstone item sorter tutorial up from uh, someone on the internet and uh, I will start the time lapse to make this thing and we will be rid finally of our chest monster. Let's go.
On a scale of 1 to 10, how proud of me are you? I have created my very first item sorter. And I've already realized I've made a grave mistake. This item sorter isn't even big enough to hold half the items in Minecraft. So I'm going to have to be very selective about which blocks make it into the system and which don't. I've only done a few of the filters. So I've done, you know, the redstone block and, you know, these ones here. So I can actually show you how this works. Now, you're going to be extra proud of me. And I'm going to say the same thing that every redstone person ever says. You ready? It's actually quite simple. No, really, it is. It looks really complicated on the outside of it. You know, like, look at all this redstone. Ooh, scary. Well, actually, it's just the same pattern. Even if you don't fully understand how it works, it's just the same pattern repeated over and over and over again all the way around the system. As you can see, you can see it's just the same thing over and over again. And then once you've got that repeated pattern that blocks all of the hoppers, you then create a water stream over the top and that pushes the items. So actually the item sort of bit is fairly simple. What I won't say is simple is this thing. I followed a tutorial for this one and I have no idea how it works, I'll be honest with you. If we go down into here, this is a shulker box loader. And what it does is it takes the shulker box, they all fall into this item hopper. When it's done, it then gets released in here and the empty shulker box ends up back up there. I have actually adapted this design to my own needs, but yeah, this bit, this bit was not so simple. So let's do a, uh, a little demonstration, shall we? I've got here an sh empty shulker box. We'll take out the items from the filters that I've already done. All right, this is where the magic happens. We put it in, it falls down. It will filter through the items and release them into the water stream. Up they go. And as you can see, they're hitting the correct filter and going straight into the right place. How amazing. I mean, it's going to take a while, but I basically, once all the filters are set up, I take each shulker box and I just plonk them in here and then they will make their way round. And as you can see, that one was done and the empty shulker box comes back. This is the miracle of automatic item sorting. And now that it's done, you can see they're all in the right place. I'm 10 out of 10 proud of me for this one. But that's only half of the puzzle. So we've got our items. We have to get 41 of each item in order to create the filters. But I think that is definitely a job for off-camera Grian because uh, that's, that's going to be dull, gathering all these different things. What won't be dull is actually decorating this room. We can't leave it like this at all. This is not good. What I'm going to do is add a few pillars in here. I quite like how this is shaping the room, but it definitely needs more. So we're going to hop straight back into another time lapse and we're going to decorate this just a little bit, not the full thing, but make this look a bit more epic. Are you ready? Let's go. This is looking slightly better. Obviously, I'm still not finished. Look at the state of the ceiling. Well, there is no state of the ceiling. It's just one big stone slab. And there's obviously still some more work to be done on these bits as well. But I think for, for the time being, I'm absolutely sick of this room. However, I am very, very happy with how this has all come out and it's given me some more inspiration for how to make this better. Now, I did actually, I know I said I wasn't going to, but I did actually spend a long time setting up some filters of just the items that I have in my possession and use fairly frequently. And that has left very few spaces left. There's a gap for some stuff. So I've blocked these off for the time being and what I'm going to do essentially is um, actually start loading up just these few shulker boxes 
and I'm just gonna see what happens. Make sure that it works, and we'll uh, we'll see what we'll see how this goes in the end. Everything that's not being filtered is ending up back here in the trash department. And then when this is all full, I'll be able to get a good idea of what I need to create a filter for and what I use quite a lot of. But yeah, let's just watch this go for a second. Okay, seriously, we're about half an hour later and it's still going. It's emptied four shulker boxes though, which is uh, pretty good, but it's uh, it's still going. So we're gonna let, we'll let it just, we'll let it ride. We'll check the junk box. You can see it's filtered quite a lot of it. So what I need to find out is white dye might be one. Like gray dye might be one, torches might be one, but all the others are just one. Anyway, I think that is more than enough of that room for today. I did notice while I was flying around, there was a little box up there with a sign on it. Thanks, pesky bird. RD. Is that a face? Oh no, no, it's Rendog. I'm like, I'm like turning my head sideways, like, is that a is that a weird XD face? No, oh no, it's Whoa! Look at that! 70 diamonds. He didn't kill my pesky bird, did he? Joke. Okay. So, we're, oh, oh, Ren, you were about, you were this close, this close to incurring my wrath. That does beg the question, where is the pesky bird? And what is that? I got another box. Dear Hermit, thank you for being a valued customer of my looky looky at my bookie. I love your face, and to show your appreciate our appreciation, here is a little goodie box as a token of our gratitude. Or our gratitude. Thank you. P.S. Want to buy a book? I'll, I'll be honest. I don't. I don't think I've had. I don't think I've had many books. I I kind of got my own books this season. But um, you know, if you want to, whoa, that is some custom goodies there. Look, Dark Prismarine. He knows. He knows. Thank you, Coralis. Maybe I will go and looky looky at the bookie. Uh, get some uh, get some cool stuff here. He's he's yeah, he's got anvils. He's got 62 stacks of anvils That's pretty good That's pretty good. You know, we're doing pretty good on the diamond front 25 diamond blocks not bad at all Now that we've made some decent progress in that room I actually want to head over to the shopping district because there's something uh, I should have actually done a while ago and and that is open up the town hall the mayor race has actually begun, but B-Dubs told me that he wanted to do some interior work, so I thought I'd come over here and check it out. The town hall is officially open. The diamond throne is there for the taking. Wow, B-Dubs has done a really nice job. Oh, wow. Okay, that mushroom block as a ceiling block is fantastic. I like the little details. Good job, B-Dubs. This is looking really good. Really, really good. Now, um, we definitely need something a bit nicer for this. Uh, but once we have the names of who's going to be running, then then we can uh, fix this all up. I need to, let's have a closer look upstairs because this is looking pretty cool. Oh, and when, when the mayor's elected, they can look over the shopping district. Everything that the light touches is yours. <laughs> so this is all looking pretty good. But I want to take this one step further. Just putting posters everywhere isn't going to win the race for Mumbo. We need a, a proper headquarters. I'm pretty sure Mumbo now knows that he's running for mayor, but I still haven't spoken to him about it. <laughs> it's really weird. So Mumbo knows that I'm like campaigning for him, but he hasn't actually said anything, which is actually really hilarious. So what I'm thinking is we make a headquarters, a campaigning headquarters of some kind, not in the shopping district itself because this is for shops, but maybe we can make our own little island somewhere out to sea. Oh my goodness. All right, well, maybe not too close to anyone's base, but there we go. That's kind of raised off the ground a bit. So I could make a little custom island here, and on the top, Mumbo HQ. M for MFM, Mumbo for Mayor. Headquarters 
Fortunately for me, not a single soul has been buying dirt. So I can just uh, commandeer my own dirt from the shop. <laughs> maybe it's uh, too expensive. One diamond for three stacks. Maybe it could be one diamond for four stacks. And uh, yeah, I'll, use, I'll just use this. I'll just use this to make it. I have no idea what to build here. So what we'll start with is uh, just making this island. And then we'll think about the build after that. We'll probably just start with a dirt house. I think that's that is very symbolic. We'll start with a dirt house and then we'll do it. Right, let's let's make this thing really quick. Uh, now that I've actually got the island all the way to the surface, it was a lot. It was a lot taller than I thought it would be, and we've actually got the the smallest island I've uh, ever seen to build something proper on. So this is uh, not gonna be easy. We're gonna start small. We're gonna, we're just straight up gonna start really small. I can't decide whether this amazing town hall draws the eye. Or does the giant weird plant monster with eyes do that? It's a pretty close competition. Anyway, let's make this humble shack. Okay. <laughs> this is the saddest island. This is the saddest Minecraft island I've ever seen. It is, it is pitiful. But this is where we're gonna start until we can figure out exactly what kind of headquarters we want to make. So for now, it will be as simple as Mumbo for Mayor. <laughs> this is terrible. This is really terrible. And I, I'm not even ashamed to admit it. It is, it is really terrible. But you know, you've got to start somewhere. And until I get a good idea for a nice tall building, and of course get the resources for it, this is where we start. Mumbo for Mayor. Here we go. <laughs> you know, from a distance. This looks so funny. I mean, it's just the most pathetic wooden shack you've ever seen. Oh my goodness. Now, speaking of Mumbo Jumbo, he actually let me know, and so did a bunch of you guys in the comments, about the door situation. So as you guys know, I have to steal all the doors forever uh, for this entire season. Now, some people have been actually really, really smart. I don't see any door on this base. I don't, I don't know how to tackle this. There's not a single thing in here that would count as a door that I can take. But some people have made something a little bit more impressive. This is Tango's Toon Towers base. And I've got to say, let's just take a minute to appreciate this because, oh my goodness, doesn't this look special? This is a, a, a nice style, it's different, it stands out, and we've got to respect the concrete because, I mean, that's a lot of materials. But, here's what I was informed of. Tango's door is, of course, a big fancy redstone door. Still a door though, isn't it? Still a door. Don't grumble at me over there. It's, it's a door. And since this is broken, now normally I wouldn't touch anything quite as complicated as this. I mean, this is insane. But, you know, People have let me know that this has got to be rebuilt anyway, and so this is probably the only opportunity where it will be absolutely okay for me to take this door. So I'm gonna seize the opportunity. I'm gonna do Tango a favor by clearing this out because this has got to be remade, I assume by Mumbo. Oh, and Scar just died to a golem. You know, that's really funny because he, he literally said to me on Discord two seconds ago, I'm experimenting with villagers. <laughs> oh. Honey blocks. I re I honestly, I haven't played with these at all. They make the most disgusting noises. Yeah. Can I can you fly out of these? Nope. Oh, yes you can. Now if I went straight up, that would mean that this would break my fall. That's awesome. Oh my goodness, how deep does this thing go? This wasn't this isn't what I signed up for. This is really complicated. Oh my goodness, a lot of serious redstoning went into this. I have been I have been assured, don't worry, I have been assured that this is beyond repair and it needs completely gutting. So I there's nothing here that can be salvaged at all. If you know anything about 
uh, honey slime block machines, then you know that this is beyond repair. I'm doing them a favor. So I reckon I can leave all of the furnaces because they wouldn't move anyway. So it's only really like the stuff here that's the actual door, so I'll leave that for them. Now I feel terrible about this. I feel really terrible because, you know, this is a lot of resources that I'm uh, taking away. So what I'm actually going to do, just to make this a ease my conscience a little bit, what I'm going to do is leave a chest and I'm going to leave roughly the right amount of diamonds to buy all the materials you would need to fix up this door. So observers, honey blocks, slime blocks, sticky piston, and white concrete. I think that should be enough to replace all the materials because, you know, the rules of this door thing aren't really established, but if I'm gonna steal the door, I've gotta actually steal the door. I can't just dismantle it and leave it in a pile. But there's, uh, there's another problem that's just occurred to me. I gotta remake this door at some point to store it. That's not gonna go well. Oh my goodness, he's got, he's got a, he's got a hermit and herald. Button man mare. Oh my goodness. Turns out Mumbo's actually getting some uh, coverage in the old newspaper here. Newspaper uncovers secret campaign. Well, it's not so secret anymore. Oh, this is just saying that there's a secret campaign for him to be, uh, him to be mayor. Well, surprise! <laughs> Already out there. Wow, that looks so cool. That looks so cool. I'm sorry. I am so sorry for having to take that. And I hope that it is successful on the second time round. But I'm going to take this door back to the base. You've probably been wondering where I've been storing all my doors. Well, I've got a box called More Doors. And that is exactly where this lot is going for now. So when the time comes that we make the door dungeon, this will be Tango's door and I'll have to try and remake it. But I am afraid that is all we have time for today. I'm going to actually start loading up some more shulker boxes into the machine because, as we've noticed, it's going to take several hours for it all to get processed. So all there is left to say is thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and all the crazy long hours of work that went into it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.